Hey guys, I'm back downtown in Morioka tonight with my friend Quinlan and uh, today I'm really excited to introduce to you probably the number one winter comfort food in Japan. This is a food that really only pops up in the winter so when you start to see it in the shops it makes you feel all cozy. It's called oden and it's not the most appealing dish so when you see it in the konbini you might uh, give it a pass because you don't like the look of it <laughs> but I'm here today to show you that it's really great and you guys I should try it. So Quinlan actually told me about this restaurant right here. What's so great about this place? Well, what she doesn't know is this is not Oden we're going to see. We're going to eat craft Oden. Oh. It's not normal Oden we're going to eat. It's craft Oden. Oh, this okay. is artisanal Oden. This really? is Oden multiplied by ambrosia given to Jesus. Adam. I don't know. It's, it's just good. Trust me. This guy's really good. The guy is amazing and he this is the best Oden I've ever had in my life. Really? And okay. I agree. Oden is a deeply unexciting dish. I yeah. Think. However, this is really good. Okay. Well, actually, I really love the stuff from the convenience store. <laughs> Very easy to please. I love Oden. I think it's really great. It's just the appearance that's not so appealing to foreigners especially. Um, but I'm excited to try some fancy Oden today. I've never done that before. So let's go inside and see what it's like. So when you go to a restaurant in Japan, after you sit down, uh, it's common that they will serve you a little dish like this. You usually get one. This restaurant has two. It's called Otoshi. They charge you for it. It's kind of like your seat charge at a restaurant. And it's usually made up of food that I hate. <laughs> but here, uh, he's brought us two really lovely vegetable dishes. Got a pumpkin and a Korean style namu. At this restaurant and a lot of sushi restaurants, you order by writing how many of each item you want on this little tally sheet. You can't do it the English way. You can't just do the, the normal tally stuff. You have to do the Japanese way where they write the kanji. So this is how you write it in Japanese. One, two, three, four, five. So if you want five of something, it'll look like that. If you just want one, like that, or two. So that's how it works in Japan. So we want to get, what do we want? I want, I want that tofu cake. I don't know if that's on here, because that's not Oden. Oh, is it not? Okay. But like that one. Uh, what else do we have? Wakame is always good. Wakame? Yes. Sanriku Wakame. Okay, so we ordered a bunch of stuff. Wow, look at that. That's wild. Ooh, it looks tasty. So, the one that I'm really excited about that I want Quinlan to try is the dehydrated tofu. It's called poya tofu. And um, yeah, they take all the moisture out of it and then when they put it in the oden broth, uh, it soaks up all the dashi and um, it's, it's very spongy. It's like a kitchen sponge, but in a good way. <laughs> it's a dashi thief. <laughs> I, I hope you like it. Here? Mm -hmm. Spongy. Spongy. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> All right, I give the the dashi thief sponge a six out of ten, but the uh, the daikon radish definitely gets a like an eight or a nine. That that's fantastic. Yeah, so good. Daikon's like the staple. It's like the This is the Japanese dashi. Oh, dashi. Oh. It's made of the seaweed from uh, the Hokkaido and uh, yeah, made of the uh, dry bonito. Dry bonito is from, uh, it's an uh, Kagoshima. Kagoshima? Yeah, oh, so wow. the north and the south. <laughs> <laughs> so the interesting thing about this restaurant is the owner will also make the oden with a vegan broth if you like. So it will be made out of carrots and cabbage, shiitake mushrooms and seaweed base as opposed to the regular fish broth that oden is usually made with at the convenience store and uh, usual restaurants. So <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, that would be great. Thank you so 
much. So this dish was sitting in front of us <laughs> the whole time and I've been dying to try it. It kind of looks like chicken nuggets, but apparently it's a tofu cake. Tofu and uh, what did he say, potato. It was like a really interesting combination of a bunch of vegetables and tofu. Um, so he, uh, he boiled it in the broth, so now it's really soft. Wow, it's like melting, <laughs> it's breaking as I try to pick it up. Oh, that's good. It tastes like a hash brown. It really tastes a potato. Mmm, that's my favorite one. One of my favorite ones so far, yeah. Nice. It's really yummy. So I wanted to show you guys that they have dishes that aren't veggies as well. What are you eating, Quinlan? Oh yes, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> what do you got there? Here. And what I have here is called suchika. It's um, an Okinawan style pork and it's incredibly soft. I usually wouldn't like this much fat, but it just melts in your mouth. I've got the yuzu kosho on here. Look at this. I guess it's been stewing in the oden dashi all day, so it makes it really soft. <laughs> <laughs> that good, eh? <laughs> ah, he's just explaining how Okinawan style food is a mixture of three different cultures. This here is pig's feet, which you uh, normally would not see in Japanese cuisine, but it's an Okinawan dish. All of them. I didn't expect each Oden to be so big. There's so much bigger than the convenience store one. I think we ordered a bit too much. You ordered too much. But it's all vegetables, so it'll digest fast. But these are enoki mushrooms. They're really stringy and cool. I use them a lot in cooking. I absolutely love them. <laughs> Mm. So we just finished our meal. This is the cutest thing ever. They, they just handed us this and said uh, to make sure you don't catch a cold. It's a little throat candy and a stickable warmer. It's the first time I've seen English on it. It's a little pouch that you stick to your clothes and it heats up. How cute is that? The store is adorable. All right, I'm enjoying my um, throat candy. That was really sweet of them. I really like that restaurant. Thanks for showing it to I'm me. I'm so glad to hear that, yes. Quinlan was just saying this must be the only place where you can eat and drink all night and then you still feel healthy afterwards. Everything that we ate was really healthy. It was just a bunch of boiled vegetables. <laughs> now I wanna show you guys where you can get oden all throughout Japan. You can get it uh, just at the convenience store, but only in the winter. So uh, let's pop down to a local convenience store and we'll show you what it's like there. All right, so we're gonna pop into this family mart here and I'll show you guys what the konbini oden is like. of 735 yen and it makes quite a nice meal not to mention it's decently healthy it's actually a really great diet food it's warm and comforting but there really isn't much to it calorie wise so I got pretty much one of everything just so you guys can see what they have to offer these are fish cakes and this is actually my favorite one it's called shirataki noodles they're zero calorie noodles but the texture is really nice and uh, they soak up the flavor of the dashi so they're pretty flavorful uh, underneath here we have a bag filled with mochi the bag itself is made from deep fried tofu there's a hard-boiled egg some radish and underneath here we have a sausage and that's the basic oden selection that you'll be able to find at your local konbini all right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video about Oden, and definitely try it if you come to Japan. Don't be scared, but it's only in the winter unless you can find a specialty restaurant that serves it like the place we went tonight. I will link them down below, so if you're up in Morioka, do check it out. Big thanks to Quinlan for introducing it to me today. I will have Quinlan's uh, channel down in the description box, so go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.